The Average Camper's Adventures. I thought we'd just uh, get with you for a moment and give you a little bit of update of some of the things we're doing. Um, we are working on the coach, just getting everything um, together and prepared for our big adventure in the future here. So one of the things that I came across I thought I would uh, share with everybody is we've talked about in the past about um, the way things are put together in a coach and sometimes it's not put together in a way that you would want it to be. And in some cases we've run across a few things where something was put together that literally was dangerous. And I want to share with you guys today uh, what we found and so that you can take a look in your coach or your uh, travel trailer or whatever that the same problem has not occurred because I believe this could have over time become a fire hazard. Lately we've seen on the internet several coaches that have that have caught fire for various reasons but I wonder if this may be or has been the cause of one of these problems. So let me show you what we found and how we're going to fix it. Okay, now that I have it pulled off, this gives you a better perspective of what we're talking about here. That's the sharp edge of the mount. There's the wire. Oh man, look at that. And it's not only on one side, it's on both. Wow. That could have been a major issue. That looks like several spots. Mm. Fortunately, it hasn't made it. Fortunately, it hasn't gone all the way through, but you can see just how far that's pinching it. Terrible. Okay. So, we'll get this fixed and make it right. It might be a little difficult to see, but now um, I've run that wire um, in front of the mount like it's supposed to be, uh, between the television and the mount, unobstructed and not being pinched by anything. There we go. Okay, you can see the wire there where it goes now, where the wire is supposed to be in front of the mount and not being pinched behind the mount. And I have a few other wires that just plug in the television that tuck nicely in the little pocket back there. And now I can just screw it all down and put it back together. Alright, so that's it. Everything's all taken care of and I would urge all of you to uh, to check around to some of those areas that uh, power is plugged in and make sure there's nothing like that that you have going on because it really could be a fire hazard. Thanks for watching. Join us next time on the Average Camper's Adventures.